Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Dongan Rampa. And in the last episode, uh, we found out some pretty awful things, which we're explaining right now. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze, and my and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The hair hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had to endure that weight. Chapter 1, To Survive Daily Life. Okay. <laughs> but as for the heavy, as heavy as the air felt, it all took Pierce when it was her, when it was her sharp words. So, what are we gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped us pull back all back pull back to reality. Right, she's right! If someone else here is as nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. To forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I am so ashamed. Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Please, somebody hit me. Punish me. Jesus, if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. Perhaps that's one, one mission. <laughs> Perhaps, but what is the mission exactly? Like I said, his voice is going to keep changing. I'm sorry, guys. Idiot, if you look for a way out, duh. And we totally need to find who was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of him. But what do we do that? Maybe we should take a look at the e-handbook. It probably is best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. True, if we stumble around with no clue to what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Shit. Fine, well let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. E handbook. Makoto Nagi. After turning on my e handbook, the first thing appeared was my name. So my, it was just like Monokuma said. The owner's name showed up right front and center. Just then, from the main menu, it popped up and I selected school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules had be imposed on all of us. Students may reside within the school, leaving campus is unacceptable use of time. Night times from 7, 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited as is, as is destructions of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student will become blackened with gra and will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. A feeling of slight dizziness, I raised my head up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's face. This is bullshit! What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. Well then, why don't you just look around around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. Living up. Ugh. Oh my god. This guy's voice is like not, not possible, dude. I'm just gonna make him my normal voice. Someone go. Give me a second, guys. Let me get into character. But if you got punished like that before we saw him, I don't think there'd be a res there'd be a way to respond we there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yeah, I gotta do like a high-pitched, like, dumb voice for him, otherwise I'm never gonna remember. <sighs> I, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. So what? They made tons of promises that I still have to keep, so that's so what. I can't afford to die in here! None of that makes much sense to me, but you are saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? Huh, oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what exactly do you think it means? Yeah, anyone who kills a, kills a fellow student and becomes black and will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says, unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. It says that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we have to do something like that? I don't see any reason behind it. Just worrying about the following the rules as they've been explained to us. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from so any from someone who is waiting for other for others to decide what to do for them. D 
don't jab at me. <laughs> More like a full-on stab. Well, now, for let's forget all this stupid joke about murderers and stuff. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True, we need to find out exactly where we are. Is there any way out? Is there food and supplies? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Damn straight. Okay, we'll start looking. Let's start looking around. I'll be going alone. What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Were you saying that we should meet, we stand around with them in our midst and make it much easier for them? Wait, hold on a second. That would never... Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when the graduation rule was made clear to you. Am I wrong? But... So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. His voice is gonna keep changing, too. Ugh, these guys, I have to make, like, accents or something for them, otherwise I'm never gonna remember. Hold on, like, I was gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. Out of my way, plankton. What the, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? One tiny bit of plankton drifting along across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, they couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on a boundless ocean. I'm gonna kick your ass. Stop, we shouldn't fight. The fuck did you just say? You're some kind of goody-goody little bitch. Who, who do you think you're talking? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're, so, you're like my fucking dad or something? No, I want. Fuck you! Wham. He punched me. <laughs> and I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't see the punch coming, and it was something. It was suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe i kind of forgotten. The kind of people that I had been trapped here with. <laughs> my common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these Ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. Well, it wasn't exactly your fault that he lost his temper and punched you, dude. But I, I just lost track of that, of that sense of reality. That was the my last thought as my consciousness started to fade Aww. before it cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Hmm. Uh, uh, huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I had never seen before. Okay, so where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use to check a variety of information as you play. Okay, I'm gonna use the square button to bring it up. So I got map, truth bullets, presence, report card, regulations, and system. The system, save, load, transcript, options. Oh, so I can change the options if I feel like I don't want to do something. Okay. Actually, I am gonna do that really quick. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be better to not have any voices at all, but. Maybe it's better that I have at least a little bit of voice. So I'm not talking, especially when Monokuma's talking, because later on it'll be, I think it'll be kind of important to do that. <laughs> uh, I got presents. You got nothing. Work hard. Okay. Not a lot of people. So many voices to keep track of. <laughs> oh, my voice thing is not good. Alright. Touch pad to read the transcript. Oh, that's cool. Okay, cool. Didn't realize that was a thing. This must be new. All right. This record pertains all information. Uses to use this review com to so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Okay. Let's look around the room, shall we? It's no pad. I guess the school must be giving one to each of us. Let's look inside drawers. Looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. It's like a paint roller. It's some kind of lint. Oh, a lint roller. Okay. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. This must be the key to our room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Just an everyday trash can. Okay. Oh! I found a coin! <laughs> nice! Helps to look around, I guess. This would appear to be the bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. 
There's a piece of paper hanging on the wall which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual's key room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Oh, that really sucks. I love showering at night. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Holy shit! For the boys who believe a strong blow to the head with any of these tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. Let's all enjoy ourselves. Ugh. I crumpled the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Mmm, I would agree. For now, I should look around the- oh. <laughs> Looks like this door leading outside. It's locked. So someone, so some of these rooms should have locks, right? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be my room. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitories will be seen sleeping in class and be punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers the question. The next question is, what's everyone up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that is to get out of here. So do what I was going to do originally and try to leave? Yeah, okay. I rushed out of the room to meet all the others, but someone was waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Aww, you hit girl. Oh, Sayaka! Are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Okay, yeah, wait, 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 wait. That is weird. I just realized that the, uh. The voices actually are voices. Okay. No. Get out of there. System. Yeah, I didn't know if the voices literally meant voices or not voices. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you just make it sound like it's worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how it, I know how it must look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good. But are you okay? I know you're. I know you know from where Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right there from the beginning. Makoto? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Well, if you're really feeling if you're really, if you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could do, come to, to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go do their own thing. We decided it'd be more efficient if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get out together later on and about what we had learned. And so does that mean we're all that it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. Good. Then I'll go ahead and meet you at the dining hall. All right. So our rooms. My, oh, I love the little portraits. The baby portraits. Sakura's got a cute picture. And oh, that's what I want to know. Look at the map. All right, so oh, okay. I'm not always familiar with who's people, which with people and who they are. Okay, but anyways, so oh, where am I going? So, there's a room I can't get out of. Oh, this is really weird. Like, three. I don't have any reason to go that way for now. I'm just exploring right now. I need to get aware of my surroundings. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be mega confused. But, a uh, dining hall. Oh. <sighs> This must be the dormitory dining hall. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess there was no, not, it was, that was not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was waiting there for us. We don't have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. Weirdo. Is it really just intuition? 
kind of sudden, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, when you talk to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words up, you press the triangle button and go to reaction mode. At this point, you can use the directional buttons to make a selection and the X button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about with multiple more information. Talking to someone about this is called a reaction. <laughs> Seems like reality. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. By the way, Makoto. Huh, what is it? Well, it's just... I know it's kind of... I want to ask you something. What'd you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Yeah, actually, I was. <gasps> I knew it! We went- I went there too! I was in class four though! Do you remember me? Do you remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. We never talked to each other, but somehow she knew who I was. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. Well, we went to the same school for three years. Of course I'd remember. Well, that, that's true, but there were kind of a lot of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to really ever stand out. I'm average at everything, and my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Oh. Uh... She's gonna... She's gonna be a killer, ain't she? <laughs> Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Anyways, I'm glad that I know some- Oh wait, that was the wrong way. Anyway, I'm glad that I know somebody around here. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm not nothing compared to you ultimates. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. None of those ultimate students. Thanks for saying that. And thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh, my assistant? Yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it just gets me pumped up. Fuck yeah. <laughs> but which is nice, but still, everyone here is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time what time is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Uh yeah, like right here. Um, so what time is it right? What? 7 o'clock at night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look at the window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might go crazy. I can't believe no one's here yet. I'm sure they start, they'll start showing up soon. Almost like you had time to talk, I threw open the dining hall doors right as Siaka said that. Ah, Makoto, Siaka, so you two are here first, huh? Too bad. Um, Buddy's hurting me. Uh, too bad. I'm sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. I love you. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh, come on. Talk is a cutie patootie. And soon after that, everyone came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. And I need a drink. Excuse me. Okay, so it looks like everyone's here. It's time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on in here, the sooner we'll get out of here. Wait, hold on a second. What's wrong? What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. Uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. What about her? She's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Wait, nobody's seen her? Why well, hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, whatever, however you do, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It is as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it your, give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst possible way. Is it possible that she was really... No, no, I'm overthinking things. 
Damn it, Kyoko! Darn it, Kyoko! You really gonna, gonna, you're gonna be late like this on your first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone that she'd be late. It's almost, it's most becoming, unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything! I can agree. I can attest. Now then, I declare the first session of Post Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. But actually, we're going to cut the episode off here for now. We'll start up next. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys later, right? Bye-bye.